Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate how to post vendor payments by considering withholding tax here. Okay. So in earlier examples, we have deducted withholding tax or TDS at the time of invoice posting. See, basically in SAP system, we have two instances wherein we can deduct the withholding taxes. One is at the time of invoice posting and one is at the time of payment posting basically. So this case will be considering uh, vendor invoice posting sorry vendor uh, payment posting with TDS okay so for this I have considered withholding tax rate as a 2% here okay so the tax will be deducted at the time of vendor payment here now so as to do this what we have to do is basically first we have to post vendor invoice so during vendor invoice your expense account will be debited and your vendor account will be created with the same amount because there is no deduction further there are no further deductions so no taxes will be deducted second case basically subsequent posting of this vendor invoice uh, payment will be posted here so this time what will happen will be posting vendor payment here okay so during the payment system will consider this uh, tedious payment here okay which is a uh, two percent as a hundred of uh, thousand of two percent basically 20 but yes one thing to note here is while you post vendor invoice you have to ensure that you have removed invoice tax code else what will happen system will consider TDS at the time of invoice as well as payment which will be incorrect so let us see in the SAP system how to do this basically so first ensure that you have maintained this supplier master or this business partner with subject to withholding tax which is maintained in my case here so I have considered invoice payment uh, two tax codes basically two withholding tax codes one is at the time of invoice deduction one is at the time of payment deduction so let us post vendor invoice first. I'm using transaction code FB60. Enter supply details. Okay. So this is payment TDS or withholding tax code. We can say here. Input this section code. Section code is basically attached to the GS. Uh, this uh, sorry, this withholding tax code configuration and the business place is attached to basically. I mean it's configured based on the business space uh, GST is configured based on the business space here in the India okay just double click on this line item enter business place and the cost center cost center we are entering because it's a expense line item here fine now enter the vendor uh, line term amount here which is thousand in our case okay now go to withholding tax tab here Okay, now here we have to ensure that we have removed this invoice tax type or the tax code because we don't need any deduction at the time of invoice here. Click on simulate. You see here expense account is debited and your vendor account is created with same amount here because there is no deduction. Now click on post here. Okay, now click on display. Our vendor invoice is posted here. Now let us proceed with vendor payment. We have to use transaction code F-53. I'm using this manual payment. That's why I'm using this F-53. This is vendor payment. We have to enter house bank here because this GL account, basically this clearing account, the payment clearing account basically configured as a reconciliation of the sub account here. That is in the Espohana. New changes is happened here. Now click on process open item. Select all then deactivate and select our uh, specific document number the last one which is the relevant one if you see here we have entered thousand in input screen okay now after detecting this withholding tax system has considered 20 as withholding tax and now the payment liability is basically 980 rupees here okay and 20 is basically the withholding tax portion now we have to adjust bank amount here okay just press star here so system will copy this amount here 980 click on here click on document then simulate you see here Vendor account is debited with 1000 here. Now from bank, you are making a payment of 980 and 20 is basically for your TDS payment here. Okay, click on post button. Now click on document and then display. <coughs> Double click on vendor line term. <coughs> click on withholding tax data. If you see here, see, though we were having T1 and T2, since we removed T1 at the time of invoice posting, so system has considered only T2 here. Okay. Now the 20 amount is here. Now if you forgot to basically remove that T1 at the time of invoice, T1 in, in my case it's T1, okay? Then system will deduct the taxes two times actually, okay? So thank you for watching.